Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on buoyancy and flotation. In this video, we are going to find out the metacentric height of the combined body parts that is cylinder attached with curved surface at the base. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A body has the cylindrical upper portion of 3 meter diameter and 1.8 meter deep. The lower portion is a curved one which displaces a volume of 0.6 meter cube of water. The center of buoyancy of the curved portion is at a distance of 1.95 meter below the top of cylinder. The center of gravity of the whole body is 1.20 meter below the top of cylinder. The total displacement of water is 3.9 tons. Find the metacentric height of the body. So this was the given question. In this problem, total body is the combination of two parts. So we will give here the numbers. So lower curved portion, we will give here part 1 and for the upper cylindrical portion, we will give part 2. Now we have to understand the diagram as per the given data. So body floats in the water. So we don't know what is the depth of body that is inside the water. So we have to first find out it. So we will consider the height x that is the height of this upper portion of the body from the water surface that we have to consider. Then we will move for the given data. So diameter of body 3 meter that we have to show. Then the depth of cylindrical portion. So depth of part 2 is given 1.8 meter. So this is the center of this curved portion. So up to this center we have to show from the top of cylinder up to this center what is the depth that is 1.8 meter. Then volume displaced by part 1. So here if we observe the problem volume of water displaced by this curved portion is given. So what is the volume displaced by this part 1 that is 0.6 meter cube of water. So we know that the body always displays volume of water is equal to volume of body itself. So we can also say that volume of water displaced by part 1 which is equal to volume of this part 1. That is this is 0.6 meter cube is also equal to volume of this body part 1. That is that curved portion. Then B1. So center of buoyancy of this part 1. So here is the point B1 that we have to plot. And what is the distance from this top point C to this B1 is given. So we will consider here at the top point of this cylinder. We will consider this point C. So the distance from C to B1 is given and it is equal to 1.95 meter that we have to show in this diagram. Then also G is the center of gravity of the whole body. So here is the center of gravity of the whole body and C G distance that is equal to 1.2 meter. That is also we have to show. Now total weight of water displaced by body. So now we must know what are the basic rules. So here total weight of water displaced by body is given and which is equal to 3.9 tons. So tons, 1 ton is equal to 1000 kilograms. So if we uh, here multiply with uh, 1000 then we will get 3.9 into 1000 kgf. So we have to convert it into Newton because our standard unit is Newton. So how to convert? We have to just multiply with this 9.81. So 3900 into 9.81 Newton. So this is the standard unit. So we can say that total weight of water displaced by body which is equal to 3900 into 9.81 Newton and which is equal to weight of body because we know that the when body displays water which is equal to that amount of weight of water which is equal to weight of the body. Now we have to find out metacentric height of body. So this is our question. So this is the diagram that we have to complete. We have to show this 
height above this water surface is equal to x because we don't know what is the height of this body inside the water so at the bottom we will plot here the point a and this here is the extension of this diagram that this is the circular face for that cylindrical part and this is the vertical axis y y so this uh, diagram is getting completed now we have to find out metacentric height of the body so for that we will first find out what is this value of x that is the height of body above the water surface so we have to consider that is height of body above water surface is equal to x meter and we have to show in the diagram so we will first write here what is the total weight of water displaced by body so how to find out that so we know that total weight of water means what displaced by body that is equal to rho into g into volume of water getting displaced so we have to write it so we know what is rho that is the density of water 1000 g 9.81 now how to find out the volume of water getting displaced so if we observe this diagram we have to make here one construction line so i have shown here with the help of dash so volume of water is getting displaced is equal to volume of body inside the water so if i join this water surface then here below this construction line we have to find out the volume of this body so under this water there is the part one that is this whole part one inside the water so we have to take the volume of part one plus we have to take volume of part two but what is the height of this volume of part two now if we observe this total height is 1.8 meter and this is the unknown height that is above this water surface that is x so what is the height below the water surface or inside the water that is 1.8 minus x so we have to take height is equal to 1.8 minus x meter so we will put the value so rho into g into now volume of body in water so how to find out this that is volume of part 2 inside the water plus volume of water displaced by part 1 or we can say volume of this volume of body part 1 so volume of body part 1 because this whole part 1 is inside the water so we can also say that volume of body part 1 which is equal to volume of water displaced by body part 1 and if it is given in the data so if we observe volume displaced by part 1 which is equal to 0 0.6 meter cube of water so we have to take this now what is the volume of this part 2 so how to calculate the volume so we know that area multiplied by depth so what is the area for this cylindric cylindrical portion so pi by 4 d square multiplied by what is the height or depth so we will take this height 1.8 minus x so we have to write here so 1000 into 9.81 inside the bracket pi by 4 d square into height 1.8 minus x plus this 0 0.6 so now if we observe what is the left hand side that is the total weight of water so we have to take into the standard unit that is 3900 into 9.81 which is equal to now we have to put value so we know that d is equal to 3 and we don't know what is the value of x but if we observe this equation here there is only one unknown term that is x and we can solve this so what is the value of x x is equal to 1.33 meter we will find out what is the distance of center of buoyancy for this part 2 from the top of the cylinder that is the distance of b2 from this point c so how to find out that so we know that what is the location of center of buoyancy that is equal to total height inside the water divided by 2 so what is the total height inside the water for this part 2 so this total height 1.8 minus x 
दैट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट एट माइनस वन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्सटी सेवन मीटर सो दिस जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्सटी सेवन मीटर डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन वी विल गेट दिस इज द पॉइंट बी टू सो वॉट इज द डिस्टन्स फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सी सो वी हैव टू एड दिस प्लस एक्स बिकॉज here from this top of the cylinder we have to find out this distance so we will take here cb2 is equal to this x plus 0.467 divided by 2 so this here is the answer 1.5635 meter so we can take this distance for the cb2 now we will find out what is the center of buoyancy for the whole body from the top of the cylinder that is the distance of b from point c that is distance cb so how to find out that so for that we have one formula that is total volume of water displaced so we have to take this total volume of water displaced multiplied by cb that is the center of buoyancy distance from this point c which is equal to now we know what is the total volume of water displaced because here the combination of two parts that means we have to take volume of the part 1 multiplied by the distance of this b1 from this point c then plus volume of part 2 inside the water multiplied by the center of buoyancy point from this point c that is cb2 so we have to multiply it with this distance cb1 and cb2 and we have to take for this part 2 that is only the volume for the inside the water so now we will put here the value so what is the total volume of water displaced so if we observe the volume of water displaced which is equal to total volume of body inside the water that means if we observe with this help of red marker i have make here construction line so below this line we have to take the volume so how to take so we know that what is the value of this volume of this body part 1 that is 0.6 and it is given now we have to measure the volume of this remaining part that is for the part 2 there is the partial portion that is inside the water so we will take here area multiplied by this height so what is area pi by 4 into 3 square that is 3 meter is the diameter multiplied by 1.8 minus x so we have to take here is the remaining height so 1.8 minus 1.33 which is equal to 3.3 so for this we will take here the volume 3.3 so what is the volume total volume of water that is 3.3 plus 0.6 multiplied by cb which is equal to now what is the volume of part 1 that is 0.6 multiplied by now c to b1 distance is given in the question that is 1.95 plus volume of part 2 that is 3.3 multiplied by cb2 so cb2 that we have calculated here 1.5635 so if we observe we will get the distance cb because here only one unknown term that is cb and cb is equal to 1.623 so now we have to find out what is the distance of this b to g that is this uh center of buoyancy for the whole body b to this center of gravity point g so how to find out this so if we observe b to g is equal to this cb minus cg now this cg distance is given in the question and what is the distance cb that we have calculated here so this is the distance cb so when we calculate we will get distance from b to g is 0.423 meter now we will calculate the metacentric height so what is the formula that is i by v minus bg so what is i that is the moment of inertia for this body about this vertical axis y y so what is the moment of inertia so this is the cylindrical portion that's why we know the formula for the cylindrical portion pi by 64 into d raised to 4 so d is 3 so we have to take pi by 64 into 3 raised to 4 meter raised to 4 now what is the volume v so we know that we have to take volume inside the water that is 
जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस थ्री पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन मीटर क्यूब सो वेन वी पुट ऑल दी वैल्यूज देन वी विल गेट द एंसर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नाइन्टी सिक्स मीटर